Hello. Uh, Hi. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready? Okay. We were challenged to share what our home looks like every day behind the scenes. So we thought it would be fun to share what it's like to live amongst a home renovation. And we're gonna share our tree house. Right, and we have found one of the major keys to living successfully through a renovation to be keeping some safe zones. We're not surrounded by total chaos and we're gonna show you around. We did clean it up, but you'll see that it's not Super clean. Clean is relative in this We'll case. show you what we mean. Let's go. All right, we're starting in the mud room. So you would come in through this front door and you would be welcome into this little room, which we have been working on over the last couple of months now. So we're in the mud room here. We have some storage built in. We still have a lot to do. Then you enter into the kitchen from there. Cool little pocket door here. Um, this is a kitchen without countertops. <laughs> so we end up defaulting to storing things inside the open drawers. Important things, phones, coffee. Trash can, open to the elements, which is helpful. <laughs> and, you know, your everyday step stool inside the uh, sink base cabinet. And the kitchen opens right up into the living room. So this is safe zone number one, I guess you could say. Right, just this, everything on the carpet is safe. Exactly. Beyond that, chaos, because if you continue into the room, tool storage, tile storage, dog food storage. This is basically our wall of secrets. Also, over here in these cardboard boxes, these are appliance stores. Those will go on once we have our kitchen hardware. And our really, really high-end entertainment center. Over here, this is the couch area. It was really important for us to just have a place to relax at the end of the day. Every weekend that we come up here, we are basically working from the second we wake up until the second we go to sleep. It is pretty chaotic. So we wanted to have a nice comfortable spot, which also brings us to our bedroom. Safe zone number two. The bedroom is pretty close to done, but we don't have all of our systems in place yet. So for example, over here we have Lucy's pack and play, and eventually we're gonna have a dresser here. So because we don't really have a lot of storage and the closet over here is still very jumbled. We don't really have a place to put our things when we come. The only reason it looks somewhat clean now is because we have packed up because we're about to go home. Another safe zone here that we have created is for our guests and whether that's friends or parents that come up to lend a hand with the renovation. We tend to work people overly hard, so it was important <laughs> that they have a nice place to retreat at the end of the day. You just saw that we finished this on the blog, so here it is in video form. We have little end tables with drawers for people to put their stuff. Eventually we'd like to put USB outlets nearby, so it'll be really convenient for people to charge their phones. And then up top we have those cute Audubon prints that we got online. Um, they're free to use and I'll be writing more about that soon too. Little freestanding closet since we had to remove a closet in order to find a place to put the bed. So people tend to kind of throw their suitcase out on here and then hang up their coats and things like that up here. We've probably had three or four different sets of visitors at this point stay here and it's worked out great. Another not so safe zone is if we walk up our retractable ladder here into the loft space. Safety first. Cool vintage beds that we negotiated in the contract when we bought the house. More tool storage, extra trim, lots of kitchen supplies, our faucet that can't be installed because we don't have a sink yet. 
And around here, the furnace is actually hidden in that closet there. And we had a friend of ours weld us this really cool extra sturdy bracket for the electric winch that puts a ladder up and down. Here's the cool log railings that uh, keep people safe. And there's Cam and Lucy. So this is a good shot of the whole first floor when you come down the ladder. Dining room, kitchen, living room. So you can see how it all comes together and there's only one last room to show. It is our bathroom. Um, I don't, it's... What can you say what? about this bathroom? <laughs> It definitely is going to be a full gut renovation once we save up for it, but it works, so we really can't complain about that. And that's pretty much this room, so nothing pretty to see, and I honestly, we don't even really feel like painting it because it doesn't seem like there's any point in doing so. We're basically just gonna save up for a renovation hopefully in the next year or so. Rip it all off like a Band-Aid and do it once. Yeah. That's the whole tour. Do you have any last words? Oh, there we go. Found the focus. Say that again. That's the whole tour. So I hope that you liked our everyday sneak peek behind the curtain and see what it looks like right behind the camera of the shots that you normally see on the blog. And hopefully next time we'll be a little farther along. Yeah, it'll get better every day. Bye. Bye. Hehehe, <laughs> drool baby. Blech. Blech.